Hello and welcome to Competition. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I've been trying to go outside of my comfort zone and just do straight up narration. So what I have today is an overview of the brand new setup in the studio. As you know, I'm going to be streaming basically on this channel, uh, F1 and other stuff that's car centric. Competition, the whole point. But what you're looking at right now is one of two MTS sim rigs. This is a brand new sim rig that's being created by Monster Tech. I have them and I'm going to be doing a review. All I've been doing the last week, or actually two weeks, is assembling, becoming familiar with, and of course, uh, figuring out how everything goes together. I'm trying to be the subject matter expert so that when I present my opinion on it, it's the right opinion, or at least it's an educated opinion. So I'll break this down really easily. You have two PCs. The bottom PC is the stream PC. It's a dedicated computer. It's got no graphics card. The other computer is a beefy computer. This is the DD1 attached to a Formula One wheel. The wheel is removable, but you can see it's all tricked out. And then there's a Toby there. There's a 49 inch ultra wide at 144 Hertz. And then the top screen is unique because it's actually the same geometry, but it's being broken down into two screens. You're looking at shifter. It's a basic uh, standard off the shelf fanatic shifter and park brake, but they're connected. The wires are nice and tucked away. This is the second MTS. This one is gonna be specifically for flight. You can see it's left and right stick. There's room for a second stick. It's gonna have a collective, a bunch of button boxes and different pedals. On that rig is gonna be a 65 inch monitor. Here's the VR headset. The VR headset is attached to the computers, but it can be used on either side, which is fantastic. <laughs> you gotta love branding. But you can see all the wiring is tucked away, nice and fancy. That steering wheel actually pulls towards us right now, which is why that wire is bent around in an L shape. So the steering wheel can actually push back. We'll talk a little bit about the screen. The right screen is white and the left screen is not. The left screen is actually attached to the gaming computer and the right screen is the streaming PC. So when I'm doing uh, streaming, I'll be able to read chat and everything on the right screen, but also be able to see all the telemetry and discord on the left screen. All of everything is tucked in underneath the floorboard, which is really, really slick. You can see there's a cup holder, but you can also see the wiring is all dialed in super. There's a single wire that goes to the wall for each of these. This is the hexagon panels that we did a video about earlier and an overall shot. I hope that you enjoyed this overview. Don't worry, there will be a full review of all of this with all of the components and everything exactly what you need to know. And I'm planning to do a summary video of last night's race. So thank you very much for spending your time with me. Shiny side up, rubber side down, pedal down. <laughs>